My name is Jeremy Fish, and the title of my mural is The Wine Train, W-H-I-N-E. I was trying to come up with an idea that would be easily understood. I realized that if you're on a train, or riding by on your bike, or walking by even, you've got about four seconds to look at this thing. So that was initially where I started coming up with ideas. From there, to be honest, I was having kind of a crummy day. I was feeling a little bit whiny, as we all do from time to time. And that also is a place I drew inspiration from, just the double spelling of the word wine. And the fact that this is, you know, for the wine train is also somewhere I drew the inspiration. And from there, it uh, became about dachshunds and bottles and ships in a bottle and the locomotive because I really like locomotives. The dachshund because I feel like dachshunds hold a special place in the world of dogs. They're, they have a little bit of a Napoleon complex, like a very big puffed up attitude for a dog with little tiny legs. And I think there's some sort of beauty in that little struggle that dachshunds go through. And I think we all suffer from that depending on the day. I was having a bit of a whiny day the day I needed this idea. I was crunched for time. I was in between a few projects. And I liked the idea that the word wine, which at this point in my life, I'm not able to drink it. I don't know, there was a funny play there between wine and wine. And dachshunds are known for being a little whiny as we all can be from time to time. And I think that the dachshund as a locomotive serves as a funny story for, you know, having to chug your way through life when you're feeling a little short compared to the rest of the world and feeling a little extra steam in your, in your guts and needing to make that extra effort in life to sort of get past feeling whiny and chug up whatever hill you're at in life, making an extra effort to kind of go where you need to go and reach your goals even when you don't feel up to it. These are kind of all things I was mixing together when I had the idea. I think after spending a week out here working on it, I realized that when you're feeling a little whiny and it's a little difficult to get the steam to go where you're going, most of the time in life it's best to follow through and find that inner steam to get your locomotive up the hill because, you know, once you get there you may really enjoy your goal and the fruits of your goal. And for me, that was finishing the sketch, coming up with a solid idea and getting out here and enjoying the community, which was sort of the fruits of the goal. Like, the locomotive chugged up the hill, I got here, I got the materials, I painted it. But what I got out of it was a nice interaction with a city I didn't know much about and I think the people here really appreciate these murals and that was kind of the reward for uh, engaging in the project. and getting up over the hill as it were and uh, reaching my goals. I was rewarded by the nice people that came by and wanted to thank me for what we were doing here and you could genuinely tell people honestly appreciate these murals and it takes an otherwise, you know, pretty industrial area to go ride a bike or skateboard or even take a walk with your dog into something that's a lot more of a moving museum and I, from the minute uh, this idea was introduced to me, that was something I found really appealing. I think the idea that if this was an area you were familiar with and you walk through here all the time, to come back in a year or two years and see it full of art is going to be a really nice transition for the city of Napa.